the interview that Tammy Woods gave, you know, about her whole story, really with Mike Bickle and, you know, the whole pattern of manipulation, deception was very powerful. And, you know, she delivered a lot of just great points in this interview, including, you know, encouraging more women to come out and share their story. Because when you do, she talked about how, you know, really it's freedom. And she called it a freedom from a bondage that she didn't even know that she was in. Uh, it's very impactful. One point that I want to discuss here for this video is a very strong message that Tammy Woods sent to the quote unquote friends of Mike Bickle. We're going to get into all of that here in just a second. Welcome everybody to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you, reminding you as always, we walk by faith, not by sight. For someone like me, that's kind of my only option. Speaking of that, for those interested, you want to know my story. How did I go blind? How do I operate my entire ministry without being able to see? I made a video that explains it all. You'll find a link to that in the description section of all my videos. Also, if God puts it on your heart to do so, consider making a generous donation to support my ministry. A few different ways you could do that. One, hit the super thanks button on the YT video here. Or join my Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash news. Link in the description. Joining Patreon, you get all the videos before they hit the main YT platform. With that, some exclusive links to these topics that we discuss, some that I include on Patreon now. You know, you got to be kind of careful with YT. But hey, while you're there too, comment censorship free on all videos, even send me DMs. So check it out. It's patreon.com slash news. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. Tammy Woods was asked about her initial thoughts on how all these big charismatic leaders responded to the allegations against Bickle when they first broke out in October of 2023. And she gave a little bit of a surprising response here. She said that, you know, when something like this happens, when something like this hits unexpectedly in any crisis, you almost have to provide a little bit of grace for those that come out with those first initial statements because they don't really know the whole story. They're, they're, you know, they're finding out this information and, you know, you know, for those that, you know, weren't really connected and not so much those that, you know, worked right around Mike Bickle, but, you know, some of the ones like Michael Brown and others and, you know, Rick Joyner and those that were commenting on the situation. She said, you know, you got to kind of provide a little bit of a period of grace in that. And, you know, later on, you know, they may see things differently and come back and retract maybe some things that they said, but Tammy said that, that's not what we saw. In fact, what we really saw was a doubling down by many of these friends of Mike Bickle talking about how they love Mike Bickle. He's our friend. He's our brother. You know, and she's, she's calling this all out and she kept, she kept circling back to the whole friends thing. You know, she mentioned Rick Joyner. She mentioned Michael Brown. You know, she mentioned all these other, Chris Villotten, you know, so, so many more. Stephen Strang, who, you know, Stephen Strang was probably one of the most fiercest defenders of Mike Bickle from the very beginning. But Tammy was very clear. She said, I want to make something clear to everybody. Mike Bickle does not have friends. Okay, he's not sitting in his little man cave somewhere, you know, just so happy that Rick Joyner is... Is, is calling him his friend and his brother or that Stephen Strang or Michael Brown are singing his praises. No, she goes, if you think that that's what he's doing, you're delusional. She said, Mike Bickle doesn't have friends. He has victims and opportunities. That was such a powerful statement that she made. And she is so right about that. Victims and opportunities. I don't think I've ever heard that phrase, to be perfectly honest with you. The man does not look at you as a friend. She's exactly right. He looks at you as, how can I use you, right? I look at this person as an opportunity, even his closest inner circle. Stuart Greaves, David Slyker, all those that were, you know, with him for years and years. But Tammy said it. He does not look at you as a friend. He's not your friend. And you know, these, these charismatic leaders, they got to feel really dumb right now. The fact that they just 
hitched their wagon to Mike Bickle this whole entire time, thinking that this guy actually cared. He never cared about, no, he only cared. Narcissists only care about themselves, okay? Plain and simple. And Tammy Woods, you know, brave enough to come out and say it. This, I, I really hope, will truly inspire more to come forward and share their stories. For anybody that ever thought that they were a friend of Mike Bickle, look, I hope that they they watch the Tammy Woods interview and, and maybe they'll wake up, maybe from whatever it is that, you know, they've been you know asleep for for so long when it comes to this man. And if you haven't seen the full interview, I will put a link to it in the description section here and you can watch it in full. I, again, I, I highly recommend that you do. But again, just, you know, big shout out to Tammy Woods, a, a great lady, strong woman of God, uh, who is no longer uh, choosing to stay in the shadows. And again, that line she said about freedom, how you can have freedom from a bondage that you didn't even know that you were in to begin with. Powerful stuff. I welcome your thoughts on this. You can sound off down below. What I want to do right now is something I do on all these videos. Let's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. This is an altar call. I've been doing this on my videos since 2016. No matter what it is that I'm discussing here in the church, exposing the false prophets, we always want to give people the opportunity to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior. So for anybody watching now, if you're someone that has not yet accepted Jesus into your life, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. That means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Don't forget the links to donate to the ministry are there as well. Join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month, patreon.com slash notbysightnews, or hit the super thanks button on the YT video here to make a contribution that way. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.